Hi, I'm Kevin D. Horty. I'm a lean coach with the Michigan Quality System, and I'm going to provide you with a high-level orientation to the lean and daily work model. So basically, it's important to know that this is a system to drive improvement, not a uh, system to compare one department to another. Essentially, each department that puts this process in place is going to be using it to drive improvement to key measures um, over time. A summary of the main lean and daily work elements includes uh, key visual measures, a daily team huddle, daily problem solving through the everyday lean idea process, and leadership Gemba walks. Gemba meaning the place where work actually takes place. Uh, there's also a five minute video that we're going to have accessible on our website and we encourage you to watch that and it provides a little bit more of uh, details on each of these elements and we're going to touch on each of these elements in some high level detail uh, here in just a moment. So for key visual measures, um, there are five different improvement categories that we would like the departments to connect to and that includes safety, quality, delivery, financial stewardship, and engagement. And then associated with that, there are potential connecting measures that um, our Ambulatory Care Lean Council got together um, and, encouraging, or, and are encouraging people to connect to, which includes hand hygiene and falls for our infusion and procedure areas um, in terms of the falls. Uh, that is under the safety category. Under quality, patient satisfaction, and a care quality measure, which would be determined at the local level. Delivery being new patient access and uh, clinical encounter time, or our check-in to check-out time for our patients. For financial stewardship, it would be margin and charge reconciliation. And for engagement, it would be, of course, employee engagement and faculty engagement. Keep in mind that these, although these are potential connecting measures, if you as a department determined that there was uh, more important uh, uh, measures for you to connect to, you are more than um, willing to, you're, you're more than, it's more than okay for you to do that, excuse me. For our daily team huddles, uh, this is an opportunity each day for the team to come together um, and reflect on how that day or the previous day went. So it's an opportunity to review your measures, um, it's an opportunity to surface specific problems that got in the way of you reaching your goals that you've established as a team. Um, and it's an opportunity to review current experiments that are underway in the form of an everyday lean idea, um, which we'll talk about. And it uh, primarily is meant to allow for a continual dialogue around uh, continuous improvement in our department. Um, and again, it's, it's a way to increase communication and morale within your department. Our daily problem solving through everyday lean ideas, um, essentially this is what the uh, everyday lean idea form looks like. Uh, here we have an example where Sam on uh, October 15th uh, identified the problem as uh, patients uh, checking in at the wrong desk. Uh, when they reflected on why that's happening, they it became pretty obvious that it wasn't very clear on what the right desk was to check in. And so their suggestion was to create a visual system that helped with that. The improvement category that they connected to was delivery. Um, underneath that line is a spot for a leadership review uh, that would basically take place during the leadership walk, um, as well as a spot for the owner of the problem to think through a specific experiment to try um, to, to carry out their suggestion. On the right is a picture of uh, a visual way to keep track of where specific ideas are in the implementation stage. So the first column or the top left there is an idea. That's where the new ideas would go. It would move to the do it section once the uh, leader has agreed that this is something that we should try. Uh, when it's in the doing it uh, section, basically that means we have a, an experiment that's underway that we're testing. And then in the done space is when we've uh, finished that experiment and we've made and drawn some conclusions from that. Uh, if it worked, of course, we would spread that and create standard work. If it, if it did not work, we can learn something from that and make sure that we share the learning that took place from that experiment. This is our opportunity to recognize that the people that do the work each and every day are the richest source of ideas for improvement. And it creates a formal process or system for us to... Um, continuously bring forward those ideas and continuously uh, run those experiments around their ideas. 
our leadership Gemba Walk, Gemba again meaning where the actual work takes place, uh, centers around um, the opportunity for the leader to uh, break down barriers for the team. So this is not an opportunity for the leader to micromanage uh, the team, but it's a way for them to become deeper connected to the issues that are facing the faculty and staff. Uh, this is also the opportunity for the leader to review um, any in-process, everyday lean ideas or any new ideas that have surfaced so we can actually start that dialogue between the leader and the um, faculty and staff that came up with the idea so they can do some triage right there in the moment. Um, if problems have surfaced that we don't have everyday lean ideas for, they can actually um, go ahead and um, to have some dialogue with those individuals and ask some open-ended questions that can encourage that individual to come up with an idea. Um, so this is a, an opportunity for the leader to start to coach and to mentor their team um, around the, the scientific method for problem solving. Uh, this is, uh, if of all the different uh, elements of lean and daily work, I would say that um, this is one of the most important elements that if a leadership walks were not happening consistently, it wouldn't be long until the huddles probably stopped happening consistently, um, the ideas stopped coming forward. Um, it's really sort of the glue that, that, that keeps this process together, and the more the leader can be there to reinforce this process, um, answer questions that people have, and to continue to be the coach and mentor for their teams, um, the more that this process uh, stays relevant um, and everyone um, becomes more committed to the process. So why do we recommend implementing lean and daily work? Um, so we want to translate uh, lean principles, which we've all heard things like, you know, eliminate waste, uh, you know, problem solving is, you know, paramount, and turn that into uh, some practical expectations. Um, first off, we want to think about all of the reactive firefighting that takes place day in and day out, and we want to begin to replace that with a systematic and proactive process. Um, this is extremely important uh, for us to um, get to root causes of issues so that we aren't continually firefighting the same issues day after day, week after week, and month after month. It also offers us a standardized and repeatable process that has been shown to yield results. So those results come in the form of improvement to our uh, key measures, as well as in the form of uh, improvement to the culture of our area through employee um, and faculty engagement scores. And it develops our leaders to be daily improvement coaches and mentors. Rather than relying on a lean coach like myself, um, we wanna embed that uh, coach and mentorships process into each and every department, and the leaders play that key role for their teams. Um, it also engages our frontline faculty and staff in daily root cause problem solving, which is really the engine that, that drives the improvement that takes place within the model. Um, and it leverages the collective wisdom of our entire group. So rather than just relying on a couple go-to people that seem to always just naturally want to solve problems, um, and, and sometimes that's the leader that we look to to solve all the problems within the group, this actually uh, creates a system where there's an equal voice, of course, across each and every person within our department um, and provides a simple and easy way for those ideas to come forward on a regular basis. So this just says, uh, it's a cartoon that says, can we afford not to do this? And it, it centers around uh, a couple people uh, trying to you know, do some work and they have a, some square wheels that's making it very difficult for them to do their work. And there's someone here offering them wheels uh, as an idea to replace uh, those square wheels. And they're saying, no, thank you. We're much too busy to do that. And this is a, a, a real good example of what we see each and every day where um, we're so busy with our, our uh, less than efficient processes and the firefighting and the rework that takes place each and every day um, that we don't take that time to make improvements and to bring forward ideas. And if we can start to make that investment over time, we're gonna, it's going it, to pay for itself in, in pretty quick time. And so if you do have any specific questions, um, please feel free uh, to reach out to us. Um, we're more than willing to, to come out to your site and help you if necessary. Uh, we're going to have different process of mentoring that will take place uh, over the months and years to come. Um, and so I guess just as a final note, um, 
it's important to, to remember that you're going to get out of this what you put into it. So um, those folks that stick with it and have a constancy of purpose behind what this is truly intended to be, which is a system to drive improvement uh, and kind of ride out some of the challenges that, of course, you're going to face. Um, those that have that constancy of purpose is, are going to see many benefits that, 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 that start to come forward um, within a system like this. But it, again, it takes a lot of um, sort of dedication and trust uh, in each other um, to make that work. So again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate uh, to reach out to us. Thank you very much.